seven. We got a free one already on our hands. Let's go into the game for Brand Esports versus Omega in the championship games. So you have Imperial Age on Toshi. Hayes on the Magic Worship as expected. Uh, well, Flapsy on the Purify and Rebo on the Purify is not really, you know, surprising just because of the Barrett's on the other side. That's correct. And uh, Cards here needs to be very, very careful because if he makes, if he goes in at the wrong time, they don't as welcome. He's going to hit him. Yeah. The big question mark here is whether or not also if he, not only can Carl TZ survive Kurt, uh, the Daytona's welcome, I'll just call him Barrett because Carl TZ and Kurt TZ, it's difficult to yeah. put in a sentence. Was it if he can survive TZ. Kurt TZ, if he can survive Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, yeah. Kurt with the TZ. Carl and Kurt. Kurt. If he can survive that, that's the winning condition. Because I think this Barrett is the only thing that's probably going to stop him when he goes into that blazing duet mode. Mm -hmm. And Heath and the others, they're not going to let their dream end here. Curtsy and Heath. Curtsy. Look at this very jumbo duo. <laughs> jumbo duo in the they, They're... They, like, occupy one-third of the map. Yeah, or, they're so fat they can't fit in the hallway oh, yeah, yeah. anymore, right? Uh, they're gonna well, bump into not, each other. Not, not really the map, but it's the more hallway. The, the hallway. The narrow the hallway. The narrow hallway. Yeah, so you got, <laughs> I guess they have to be aware of their positioning because of that. <laughs> but of course, we, in all seriousness though, Flicker, double Flicker into Hayes and Curtizi means they'll be the big playmakers here. Of course, so she's still classic on the far side. And of course, Festival Blood, Retribution, Carl Heasy on the Claude. Avarice. On Rebo's uh, Esmeralda means that the damage output will be a little less in the early game. So they need to slow it down. Really mm -hmm. going for the long game here. And, uh, and they're just going to go in. Look at this. Look at this. Lusty's wow. going to go in and uh, only have a trap there. So Hayes is going to have a, some vision. A few is going to have some vision. And look at how aggressive Renny's up, uh, Omega is. Knowing that, oh, that Claude can this. only do so much. They got Cartesi. That's first blood. They get few as well. And Lusty, he's in danger. There's no way out. That's free kills for Omega. And, oh, that's the buff as well taken from the hands of Ren Esports. Ren Esports, Marksman. Let's see. Last time we saw Carl went for the, uh, go, go for the Claude. He was left untouched. Nobody did care for him. He was not happy. He was not happy. And he just went out and destroyed everyone. But for this side, for this match, everyone's just forcing a uh, Claude to, you know, just get out of the way. Feels difficult. And even right now, Hajizi, they don't have any pressure on the turtle area. This will be a free turtle. Let's go into the Gillette Instant Replay. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, it's a narrow space. Lusty did want to, you know, just get the kill on Heath. But he's just way too tanky. Didn't have the passive and he will just get away. Yep, it's very, very scary right now that Bren Esports, they don't have that much of an early game presence. And they're definitely going to get out uh, outmaneuvered in here if they fight. Look at this, they're trying to go for it. Carl is the main target of Hayes. Go for the BMI, straight into the high loss. He almost gets hit. Well, actually, Carl Z cannot did. get away from this. He's not going to get away there. That's going to be <laughs> Hajizi going for the chase. The turtle buffed up. YSS oh my goodness, and Mew Omega. flickers out, but does it matter? No, it doesn't. That is three people down on the side of Brand Esports. This game is already on fire. Four set, four minutes in. Omega has the 4K gold lead. Omega 6-0. They are proving to us, ladies and gentlemen, that Marksman Brand Esports on the middle lane. It's not that hot. It's in not the early that game. hot. Yeah, I think the early game problem is there's no early game, like zero early game for Bren. Only few, probably. Change for the side of Omega. They're being very aggressive. They got the triple turn on Haji. What's not to like? What's not to like, exactly. <laughs> That's four kills on your main carry, plus a turtle buff, plus all the buffs he wants. How much gold is that? Probably 800? Yeah, probably. And now we are in the gold lead where we've seen it. Bren Esports in this position. They don't function as, they're not as dominant. Now we'll see Heath, let's, he's going to go in for Carl Teasy. Carl Teasy is very, very low. Follow up by the Bleer. Here comes Soshi as well with 
uh, feathered airstrike. I don't think that's going to hit anyone, but they do scare off red esports. They also invade the jungle. They get the resources. You know, you know, Omega, they went for the big guns right now. This is their championship winning lineup. I, I'm, I'm actually surprised that they're not using this. Toshi on the side lane, uh, Farsa. Yeah. This was the lineup. This, is, this was the lineup that Exegration had no answer for. And it's clearly the fact that Red Esports do not have a good early game just because Currency is on the Claude. Yep, absolutely. I, I mean, you still have to look out for the Claude. 100%. You cannot account for, you cannot take out the Claude yep. of uh, the equation just because right now he's not having a good time. That's why Omega is trying to close out the game early. There's a really big gap, by the way, right now between the farm of Hapa Jeezy and, and Carl Easy on the Claude. Um, he's not even complete on the Raptor's machete yet. That's how far behind he is. Now, Carl TZ needs more than more than just the Raptor's machete. He also needs a Demon Hunter Sword. He also needs uh, either Endless Battle or Golden Staff. So, we are very far from where Ren Esports wants to be. And Omega, they are starting to really up that gold lead, 6,000. And they can dominate hard on the jungle. And they're denying just even more gold away from the marksman of Ren. This is how they beat, you know, Bren Esports in game number two. Right now they're here showing us that they are capable, still capable of doing it. And it seems to me that the side turrets or the side Carl, out... Carl died! Carl died. And he went for a BMI in front of Kurtzy. Yeah, that's not gonna work. And he just gets the Daytona's welcome. Remember, BMI, there's a cooldown to whether you can go back in or go back out. Exactly. There's a cooldown. The Barrett's difference. <laughs> yeah. And just keep going back to that one because it's so obvious right now. And now it's going to be the Wrecking Crew. The five-man Wrecking Crew of Omega knocking on the door of Brent Esports. 7,000 gold lead at seven and a half minutes. We are, they, are, they are trending upward in this game. The games that we're having right now, it's not like this is uh, those games. These are actually very one-sided games. Where yep. one team will win, and the next game, the other team will return the favor. Usually, it's whoever wins on the draft. So, the draft is so big in this matchup. But now, it's going uh, to be up to Omega as well to control the jungle to make sure that, you know, Carl TZ doesn't recover. Because if Carl TZ recovers from this one, he already has a Demon Hunter Sword. By the way, he went for the Demon Hunter Sword first instead of that Raptors. Yeah, and... That's uh, that's something you would do because you don't really have access to the jungle anymore. That's true. So, so why would you do? Why would you get a raptor machete if you can't even, you know, uh, you can't step clear. up and get the stacks? You can't get stacks anyway, so it's useless. Even if you complete the raptor, might as well. <laughs> might as well go straight into demon hunter sword. Complete it a little bit later, but because of that, the blazing duet will finally do some damage on the big. Uh, the big and they get Carl easy. They get Carl easy once again. Again. Boom. Daytona's welcome. That's it. I don't even need to cast that anymore. He just goes, goes boom at that point. Carl Teasy, the Kurtzy. main target. This guy just played out of his mind. Absolutely. I mean, crazy, crazy guy. Crazy guy, man. And he's catching people who's supposed to be very slippery. This is a fast game. Omega wants to finish. They don't want to go for the 4 2. For 3 2, rather. And we are very far from over. And this is a good one. This is gonna go to a game six, ladies and gentlemen. They catch up Valor. Few trying his best to defend her, it's but as Alina isn't really that good in terms of a 5v1. <laughs> nope, you're going down. You're going down hard. That is what Red Esports is suffering from right now. And Carl TZ is. He's not giving up just yet. He's, he's not. He's, he's not, not done. He's not done. He's gonna try to get something. He's gonna, gonna try to steal some jungle camps here from uh, Omega, and uh, this is spied out by Toshi. Feathered airstrike against the intruder. <laughs> intruder alert! Intruder alert! Yeah. We find him. Just, he, he's half. Half just, HP all of They're just gonna get get away. And uh, look at this. For the side of Omega, they go straight to the bottom lane. They want to get that gold jungle, um, the crab coin. Yep, they want to get the crop coin. Every they're scrapping the ground, they're scrounging, they're filtering soil to get gold. That is how uh, <laughs> desperate Brandy is. I like that. I like that. <laughs> that. For for all the 
money as they can get. That's just impossible to get right and now. And they got your Leslie. There you, you go. You have no way to get out of this. Omega. Whoa. They figured out something. They got it. They know what to do. This, These are the kinds of matches and these are the kinds of drafts and realizations that take us to a game number seven. That was right. Altezi in the middle of everything gets destroyed by the Fender Airstrike. Can't even clear the minions anymore. And he, with the high low, slows everyone down. What a beautiful set there. Omega! Omega! They can win this few goes down. That's gonna be it. Will they take Rainbow. us to a game number six? Diving in, the minion's still alive. Lusty's eating up. No minions, but here comes a fresh batch. And that will be it. We are going to game six.